So I have what in my mind is the pinnacle of deer rifles like way back when, long ago, when someone said, yeah, I'm going to go grab my deer rifle. This is the image that, pick, pick, bit, that popped up in my head. Uh, it is a Remington Model 700 walnut stock. This is in 25-06. That's not super important. Probably subconsciously it was 30-06 in my mind. Um, or maybe a 270. But like this is it. I know that some people are probably on like the Winchester Model 70s. And some other people have some other rifle in mind. But at any rate, this is the rifle I think of. Or I used to for sure. When someone said they were going to go grab their deer rifle. Um, awesome. Love it. It's it's great. My one gripe with it is the butt plate. And not that it's like just kicks like crazy or anything like that, but weird flex. Most of my house has hardwood floors. So if you sit a hard plastic butt plate up in the corner, I'm just so scared that it's going to kick out and then like just fall and destroy what little accuracy and precision I can get out of this already. So I'm going to try and fix it for free today. Um, I, I know that you can probably just order a replacement butt stock or a slip on for like 20 bucks, but I'm on Christmas break and I don't have anything else to do. So I've got an old leather belt um, that's wore out here because, you know, I lost so much weight that I got down to this bottom part and then I'm just kidding. I've always just been super skinny and the very first ones get wore out because that's where all the leverage goes to, I guess. But anyway, it's roughly the same width as the butt plate and this fancy belt is reversible so I could go black or brown. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to kind of roughly cut this to shape and then punch some holes in it and try and screw it on there and make it fit as best I can. And I'm going to take you all along with me because this is a cooking channel and why the heck not? So I'm using the factory butt plate here as kind of a template, just kind of rough cutting this in. And then I decide that I'm going to take those screws and attach that to this piece of leather so that it all kind of stays where it needs to. And I'm trimming it and decide to grab my pocket knife, get it a little bit more precise. And it doesn't fit on the gun, on the stock. Uh, the screws are too short to go through the butt plate and this. And it doesn't look good. So uh, we're going to start over. So my next plan is just to take a piece of leather kind of like I started and then I'm going to make the exact same shape of the butt plate and I'm just going to use that as a replacement for the butt plate and then just have a straight leather butt plate, you know, and this should prevent everything from slipping. And we run into similar issues. Uh, the biggest thing is the belt is not quite wide enough, uh, not quite as wide as the factory butt plate. So that's some of an issue. And then... Again, it, it looks like trash. Like, you just can't make this look good with a screwdriver and a pocket knife, basically. I then just try to screw it on the gun and trim around it. There's a lot of rough edges, but it's synthetic. So I was like, I'll just use a lighter, and then I can kind of singe the edge like you would a synthetic twine or, you know, nylon rope or anything like that. Uh, and then when I get it up here, I was like, oh, that's a bad idea because I might screw this finish up. So let's uh, back up and punch. I then say to myself, self, you're really overthinking this. So I just cut a little piece and put it on the top screw because that's where it's going to slide from. And uh, lo and behold, that actually works. Like it catches the hardwood just right and it sets up in a corner perfectly. However, still looks absolutely terrible. So at the end of the day, you know, I did what any sane person would do and went to Amazon and put a $10 universal fit butt plate in the cart and checked out with it. Anyway, sorry that I wasted your four minutes here, but thanks for watching and I uh, hope I uh, see you next time.